Hello, this is Mr. Michael again with The Learning Groove, and we're in part two of our tutorial on how to create online registration. You can use this for your Facebook page, for a Google Doc, or for your website of choice. Um, we're focusing on using Google Docs for our registration tools. Uh, in our last video, we looked at how to create a terms and conditions, uh, which is basically a waiver that your parents sign, make sure that they've uh, read that before they sign up for your classes. So now we're going to look at how to register for classes. Okay, so we're going to make this Dunwoody at the JCC a link that parents can click on and fill out a form. How are we going to do that? Let's find out. Let's go back to our Google Docs folder. Once again, we have shared this folder with you TLG files and tools for teachers and licensees. And then under sample templates, you will find sample TLG online registration form. Let's click it. All right, now you see a big old spreadsheet. Doesn't look that exciting, does it? But it's all set up for you. And the way that we edit the form, the way that Google Docs works and Google Forms work, is we come up here to form. Oh, first of all, before you do that, uh, yours is going to say read only right here because uh, we have only shared a copy with you that you cannot edit. So first, come over here to file, make a copy. And let's see, I'll call this test for video sample online registration. You don't need to click copy document collaborators because we don't need to have access to your document now. All right, it just created that. And now let's go to form and click. Uh, well, first of all, you can go to live form to see what the form looks like. This is what your parents that sign up already see. But I'm going to close that. And what we really want to go to is edit form. All right, now this is where you can change things. So this is our sample. So I'm going to change this to, hey, April, I'm making this Miss April. She's one of our teachers. And we'll say at, I'm not sure exactly where she is. I know one of her locations was Martha Brown. So let's try it. Maybe I should spell it correctly. All right, you can include any text here if you like, like, um, you know, please fill this out, um, blah, 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 if you would like. Uh, what's going on? Okay, for some reason it's going really slow, but there we go. Um, now here's the various fields that you can ha manipulate. Uh, so if you want to edit it, this is the edit button. If you hover your mouse over the pencil, it'll show you that that's edit. And here you can change this to whatever you want. You can even put some help text in there. Let's just say done. You can also duplicate this field, or you can just trash it if you don't need it. So most likely you're going to want to keep these. This is pretty basic information that you're going to want from your parents. Um, now you're probably going to want to change this, because you might not offer classes at this time. So let's go in here and edit that. Let's say I want to do, I only have a uh, Monday at 9.30 and a Monday at 10.30, but I don't have a Monday at 11.30, so I'll just X that one out. Let's say I teach Wednesdays also, Wednesday, but it's at like 4 p.m. You can write whatever you want in here. And let's say I don't need these. Let's say I'm starting off with those classes. Done. And now they only have those three choices. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you may or may not want these additional fields. Uh, I liked having them in there. Join the TLG email list. Uh, well, you're not going to... Uh, you're welcome to send your parents' email addresses to us. That would be great, but you might not want to keep this in there. Uh, so you could either just delete this by pressing the delete button, or if you have your own email list, you could ask if, they, if you want to join your email list, and you can change as you wish. How did you hear about TLG classes is very important. You want to know how your marketing efforts are going. You also want to make sure terms and conditions have been read. That they check this box. Notice that the little red dots by certain ones, that means that those are required fields. Your parents cannot register unless they fill out those fields, and you want to make sure this is required. This is a great way to cover yourself in case anything goes wrong in class. And I like to have an additional comments field in here just for anything else that the parents might want to say. Come up here and press save. Okay. Click out of there. And if you notice, if I go to the live form, 
this is just an example. Let's see, test one, two, three. Hello is a great child's name. Let's say two years old. Uh, my address is one, two, three, four Street Street. Wow, I'm creative. Um, scroll on down. Uh, four, four, five, 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 one, two, one, two. Email uh, Michael at the Learning Groove. That's me. Click a time. This is not required, so I'm not going to do it. I'll say no thanks. I agree to this. How did you hear? Through the grapevine. Great song. All right, let's submit. All right, this is what parents see. I'm going to close out of this. Now, if you notice, well, it should happen soon. All right, now you'll see that the information that I entered goes right in here. So now you have a handy spreadsheet. And the way that I set this up is that I have some additional fields here that have nothing to do with uh, the, what the, somebody fills out online so that you can keep track just to say whether they've paid or not, how much they've paid, um, if they paid through PayPal, you know, how much you made after the PayPal takes is 2.9%. Um, and that's something that you probably don't actually need. That's if you're renting a space from someone and they're taking a percentage, which in my case they are. Uh, you can, of course, alter these spreadsheets as you wish. Now, be careful not to actually alter any of these fields you know you don't want to change any of these because then it'll mess up what's in the form uh, you'll have to just take a little time to get used to the Google Forms but uh, that's basically how it works um, so let's see now that we have our Google form there uh, what we're gonna do let's go back to the live form again and you can see the web address here this is the web address you're gonna use I'm selecting that command C or control C to copy and let's go back to our documents here. We want to link this like that. So I'm going to select that by highlighting it. Come over here to our link button. Control V or Command V. And let's say OK. And now that is a link. So if I click on it, it will open up our registration form with this beautiful blah, blah, blah. <laughs> OK, let me close that. All right, so that's how you make a Google Form. Uh, we'll look a little bit later at some more details on how to work with your Google Forms and with your spreadsheets. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is look at PayPal, okay? Uh, 